Well, howdy, folks. Welcome to another episode of Overlooked Modules, and today we'll be taking a look at this module right here, the DSM-03 Feedback Module from Dave Smith Modular. Now, unfortunately, this module is no longer made. Um, the Dave Smith Modular was a section of Dave Smith's instruments that made a handful of Euro rack modules, and then after the um, uh, change, the name change to sequential, they stopped making those. So there are still some probably in stock at some of the shops, um, or you can find them on the used markets. But in any case, this particular module, I feel like um, it doesn't really get a lot of credit. I think because it's called a feedback module, so people aren't sure what it does. But uh, in reality, this module, I would say it's like four or five modules in one. And uh, let's take a look at that. And by the way, if you've not been following this series I've been doing, this Overlooked Module series, I've got quite a few videos where I take a look at some of the lesser known Euro rack modules that I feel are kind of gems out there and, and kind of, you know, take a look at them. And for starters, I'm going to use my Pittsburgh waveforms here. I'm going to patch in a sequence coming from my sequencer into the one volt per octave. And then I'm going to patch out a triangle wave and go right into the input of this module and you hear a sequence coming through okay so note the position of the knobs we've got amount and tuning all the way down well basically we've got everything all the way down except the filter frequency which is all the way up okay so the first sort of thing you can use this module for is it's a filter plain and simple So I know a lot of people say, you know, I might need an extra filter from time to time and they keep an extra filter around just in case. Well, it's great because this has a filter built into it. So it's also resonant. So if we turn up the resonance over here. And of course, if you get it up high enough, it will self oscillate. It does also have CV control, so got an envelope coming here, and let's plug that into our um, filter frequency. And it does have CV over resonance as well, so. So we can use it as a full-fledged filter to do pretty much anything you would do with a normal filter. So that's kind of a hidden little feature in the module, but that's not my favorite feature. You notice there's an attack and decay envelope here. Inside this module, we've got a noise source, an envelope, a filter, a delay circuit, and two VCAs all inside the module. Well, if we're not using this trigger in, we're gonna bypass the envelope generator and the noise source, and we'll look at that a little later. But for starters, what we can do here is if we bring this amount up just a little, we start to get delay sounds. So we can also use this module as like a little delay or almost kind of a reverby type sound, like a mellow kind of space builder. And we still have the filter. So we get some really dark delays going on. There's another feature that's kind of built in there. And um, from there, we can start to really make the modules shine. And as we turn this up, you can really start to get some cool timbres going on here. And again, we have full voltage control over the feedback amount and over the tuning. And we still have voltage control over the filter. Let's take an LFO into the tuning. Whoa, what happened there, right? All of a sudden it starts to become something else. I'm not even sure how you describe this, but it's some sort of crazy effect. Let's try using an LFO over the um, feedback amount instead of an envelope. Whoa! All kinds of crazy 
crazy stuff happening. So you can hear we're getting kind of delay sounds, feedback, all kinds of things going on. So we can do some really subtle effects, but we can also get really crazy with it. So it has the ability to do a wide range of effects. We haven't even touched the internal noise source and envelope yet. So let's take a look at that real quick. And so what we can do there is if we bring a trigger in, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pitch sequence that I had going into the oscillator here and I'm gonna switch it over to the gate sequence and bring it into this trigger input. And right away, we hear a click. Now, if I bring that decay up, we start to hear percussion sounds. So this can be like your, your closed hi-hat or it can be more like a snare drum or even an open hi-hat just by adjusting the decay. And of course, we still have our low pass filter. So now this also becomes a percussion module of sorts. All right, so we can do a lot of stuff there. So there's a lot of different things you can do there, but we also can now add, I'm gonna bring the decay down a bit. We can add the amount here and watch what happens. So again, with low amounts, we start to get a delay. But as we turn this up and we, we adjust the tuning, we start to get plucky more plucky like string sounds, almost something more like you would get out of Mutable Instruments rings. And then as we turn the amount up, we get like a more aggressive sort of string sound. We start to get more like tubular bells or something going on there. And of course, again, we can mess with the decay. It's almost more like a, like a blow sound or something. So I don't even know what you'd call this. And then if you switch, if you bring your decay down, but you bring your attack up, you start to get these like, sort of backwards tape effects or something. I'm not even sure what you would call this. And here's the thing guys, you still have your input. So if you want to put a drone underneath that, So you can do all kinds of crazy things with this module. So there you have it, a quick look at the DSM-03 from Dave Smith Modular. Alas, like I said, no longer made, but a cool little find when you can find it on the used market. Whole lot of functionality in 10HP.